Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I wanted to tell you a story um, how my sister that is very involved in her church um, was in need yesterday and I just happened to have the dye that would help her. So my sister Debbie, she lives in Colorado Springs and she's very involved with working with the children in their church. Her and her daughter is and they run the cafe in their church and so forth and and the cafe is pretty much like serving donuts and coffee and they help out with so many like in the children's church and like they even help out um like whenever they have classes like for parenting classes or this and that they help take care of the children so they're very involved with taking care of the children well the bright mind that my sister is she um, really works hard to try to figure out great activities for the kids that are like ages from like probably one year old all the way up to probably 10 or 11. And so she has to really think out of the box of how she can entertain these kids when she does these, um, when she watches the kids for when their parents are in their classes. And so she thinks out of the box and so forth and is always thinking about something about Noah's Ark or or Moses or you know or anything that she thinks that she can teach the kids about God and so yesterday I was talking with her and I told her I have been so busy I mean the last last two weeks I mean two weeks ago we were watching my grand dog which he was a lot of work she was a lot of work Peyton she's sweet as sugar we love her to death she went home with her mama and all that but then the last couple of days I've been watching my other my other grand dog and my two grandsons and we had a great time with them and everything like that they have now gone home and so I think the dog sitting and the babysitting and all that is over for now and we'll be able to get back to just working on my on my videos and so forth and so that's exciting too but I was talking to my sister yesterday and and I was telling her I said I still I've been so busy I still have three dyes I need to work with from Scrap Diva Designs and I, and I told her, I said, one of them's a flower pot, one of them, and I showed her which one it is. And then I said, I have this one, it's like a card holder. And she goes, a card holder? I said, yeah, a card holder. And she goes, I said, it's almost like an easel being able to hold things up. She goes, what does it look like? So I texted her a picture of the die. And she goes, that's exactly what I'm needing. Now, granted, she's only given a limited budget for supplies. And so it's actually um, good that, you know, that I have this because she is making some kind of string art with the kids. And this is for her, and she's planning her lessons months in advance because she's got so many that they're going to be doing. And so she is, she has a lesson where they're going to do string art and she wanted to be able to have something that would hold up their, their um, little foam board that she's going to use. So I told her, I said, well, I have um, this easel. Oh, to me, it's like an easel, but it's called the card holder. And I said, I haven't used it yet. And I said, I'm fixing to start cutting on this one because I needed to share this from Scrap Diva Designs. And so I sent her the picture. She's, oh my goodness, that's exactly what I needed. She started crying because she's, you know, I mean, every little way that anyone can help is like a blessing, you know, to her and so forth. And she goes, this is what I've been looking for. She said she's been looking online and trying to find some. She found some little plastic ones that are inexpensive. And she said she was afraid that what if they drop them and the kids drop them and break. And maybe the little ones get things in their mouth and so forth. And I said, well, these you use cardstock for. So I put this one together. And yes, I know this is not straight. I know I could have cut the paper a little better. But I put it together. And all this is, and if you haven't seen this before... Let me just show you. So you would sit it up like this, and let me fix my camera so you could see better. Uh, you would sit it up like this, and this actually, you could fit something in here like this, if that makes, if you could see that. Let me move it up a little closer. So you would be able to put things, and even though it's a card holder, it would work well for these kids' string art to be able to display, display their string art. So, um, I told her, I said, well, I can cut some of these for you. How many do you need? She said, I need, I think she said she needed 16. So I'm cutting 18. 
I've already got, and what I'm doing is the die actually comes with multiple pieces. Okay, it comes with the base piece, which I cut it all in black, as you can see the back here. Um, and then it comes with these pieces. As you can see, I've already cut those. And then it also comes with this one. Well, I punched out the hearts. And, and so when I did that, just using the heart part, it just punches out hearts. So I should have left it up inside, but it's okay. For what my sister is needing, it's working out perfectly. So as you see, I've already cut these. I still have to put the back on. That's why I went in and cut some more. But um, I went ahead and I put decorative paper on the front. And then I'm going to put, I have this paper and it's a, a thicker paper. And I'm doing the solid for the back. And then I'm going to send these to her. And so by using this die, it's going to be helping my sister out, number one. And number two, it is helping out the children's ministry at my sister's church. What a blessing that is. So I'm proud that I was able to do this. She goes, you'd really cut these for me? I said, sure. Because she doesn't have access to do things like this. And so I've given her some craft supplies and and so forth like that but some things like this she doesn't have this and if she lived closer i'd definitely share my machines with her but she lives in colorado it wouldn't be very cheap for me to mail it'd be cheaper to buy her a new one um but then she does you know so anyway so i am what i'm doing is just cutting these out and i thought for these i would just show you how you add the pieces on the back so i cut it out and these are this paper um, pad that I'm using, it just had some solids. It had birthday paper. I didn't want to use birthday paper on this because these easels are not using for birthday. But anyway, so I've already put my paper on the front, of course, cut these out. You can see that it has like the score lines here. So it kind of tells you where to put your, um, your papers. So let me get my art glitter glue. I'm just going to glue these on while I talk. Um, but anyway, I last night, um, I watched a movie with my husband. And then he was so tired, he went to bed. And, and so I finished watching something I was watching. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in there and finish um, trying to put paper on these. Because I cut all the black pieces yesterday. And so... Um, that's what I did. I came in here for a little bit last night. But whenever you crank through with your with your die cut machine, with your 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 um, die cutting machine, sometimes it makes creaking noises from the plates. And plus, I need to change my plates. And so I just did I just did it for a bit. But I didn't want my husband to wake up being as tired as he is working out in that heat and stuff. So I didn't want to wake him up, you know, so I finally just went to bed because I needed to go to sleep anyway. So anyway, I'm glad I'm able to do this. So my friends, so Scrap Diva Designs Dies is helping children be able to have a great project and it helps out my sister greatly and um, she's the one that I was on my video. She was on the video with me recently. And um, she loves working with the kids. Her and her younger daughter, they work with the kids. Now, her older daughter, um, that she works at a, at a child care center. So she works hard taking care of the kids every day. So... Yeah, bless their hearts. So they, they, my sister said she does it, you know, because, you know, she feels like it's something that God leads her to do. And I'm proud of her, you know, um, she, they, she does a lot and she tells me all the time, well, I've got paper everywhere in my house. They have a three bedroom apartment. And so I think they craft like on their kitchen table, of course, and and um which is great i'm glad they're able to bring it all out and do it at you know as a family and um but yeah she that's what she does she works with those children and they do so much and she even let me just tell you about my sister okay my sister debbie um, i'll see if i can insert a picture of her hair So let me just tell you about my sister. So my sister, Debbie, she just, 
I, she has the biggest faith in God and, you know, I mean, all my sisters do, of course, but she just has this heart that, you know, is just so kind and she just loves what she does working with the children. My sister is disabled. And so this is her way that she can help. Sometimes, sometimes we tell her, you know, maybe you should slow down just a little bit. We don't want it to affect her health by doing too much, but she just sees it as, sees it as working for the Lord. And even though most of the time what she does is not a, not a paying job, when they do classes and watch the kids whenever there's, um, whenever, whenever there is, um, like classes at night, they do get a little pay for that. And, and they don't pay for all the supplies themselves. They're given, come back here, piece of paper. They are given, um, they're giving, given money to go buy the supplies. But sometimes if you're cutting everything by hand, we all know if we've never, if we don't have certain things, like, you know, some of these tools that we have, you know, are, they're luxuries. And if she doesn't have that, they cut things by hand. So when my sister comes down, like she came in May uh, with my with my older sister. And so I sent her home with a little bit and quite a bit of paper that I don't use. And she told me that they are using the paper. <laughs> It's come in handy. Um, so, but anyway, this die right here, if you're interested in it, it's from Scrap Diva Designs. I'll link it below. Don't forget to use my coupon code DINA10. It gives you 10% off of a $10 or more purchase. And we all love to save some money. And you too might be able to get this die and help someone else. Um, you just never know what people need. And she just told me yesterday, she goes, you're never going to believe it that that is exactly what I needed. And she goes, you didn't even know it. And you started talking about it. And we talked for a long time yesterday. And um, I heard about the hailstorm they were having there in Colorado Springs and, and this and that and things that she had to work on and and all that so uh so i cut while we talked and it was great and so forth so you never know when you're gonna need whenever you can help someone and even if it means just helping them by cutting some paper for them and so if you feel your heart you feel it in your heart you should help someone and even though this has taken up um you know probably two hours or three hours of my time it's also to help my sweet sister and it also helps the for the children at their church for her to be able to have little projects things that can go on the project because my sister whenever she gets something in her eye her mind that she wants to do with the kids she works so hard until she figures out how she can get it done and she started crying yesterday and said that's exactly what I've been needing I've been trying to research trying to find it and you know trying to find um you know how it can how it can help her this one right here it didn't it kind of got shaved off there was a couple times I had to run things through twice it probably moved but anyway so if you find it in your heart to help someone else using your dyes I mean, everything we do is like a ministry, if you want it to be. And this could be, this is just my way to help my sister, which really works hard at her church. So, anyway, I think you can see how this works. All you do is glue the pieces on. You can decorate these, but for what these are going to be needed for, they don't need extra embellishments. I think my sister wants to put hearts somewhere like, I don't know where she's going to put them or if she is going to put them. Um, but I told her, first I was just going to send her these and she could put them all together. But whenever, um, it was just, I think it was just easier for me to go ahead and glue them all together. And I'll just pack them in a, in a package and I'll send them up to her in Colorado. So, anyway, this is, the, this is how the Scrap Diva Designs 
um, die is helping the children of my sister's church and my sister as their teacher. So I'm going to glue this last one on and then I've got us a few more I'm going to do and then I've got so much I'm going to do in my craft room today. I have no plans of leaving this house. Uh, my house is fairly clean so I don't need to like rush and go clean up my house. I'm going to try to clean off space and I'm going to try to do sewing today. I'm excited. And um, I just want to really get back into doing my sewing projects as well. Um, if you don't sew and you'd like to learn, I do easy projects. And I have some on my channel, but I do more paper pro paper things because it's probably because it's quicker. And to put together, sewing does take time. But I want to, I want to get back in. I just got to figure out a good cutting way to cut my stuff. So, anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this. I know this really isn't a tutorial, but the site is so self-explanatory. You don't need a tutorial. This is just easy way. Let's see, you can see all the different designs. So I just grabbed my paper or whatever scraps I had and just started cutting. And uh, I asked her, I asked my sister what paper she would care about having. And she said, as long as it's not Halloween. So I don't have much Halloween paper. I wouldn't have did Halloween anyway. I really, I'm not the best. I don't love Halloween. So that's okay. So I got those and then I have these left that I need to glue the backs on and so forth this one had really cute on the other side but it wasn't the direction wasn't good so that's why i was like eh, i'll just use the other side so these right here this is some of the um illustrated faith paper i wish i would have had more of illustrated faith besides just christmas i have a lot of christmas i need to place an order for some illustrated faith that's what i need to do i just love it so much anyway but i've just got a few more left and yep so when it, my, the moral of this whole thing is, is that when you, when you're talking to someone and just the opportune moment comes up and you start talking about something that you need to work with, but you are like, okay, what am I going to use this for? And then you're talking to someone that was in need, you know, it's, it ended up being just great. It ended up being where I could use this die from Scrap Diva Designs and I could help someone. So that's my story today. Um, I probably will be back later on with another video, but I wanted to get this one out of how you can use this to help children in a children's ministry. Anyway, have a great day. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support, and um, I will catch you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.